What's up guys, Nick here from Nick's Reptile World, and today we're going to be unboxing an enclosure from Dubia.com. Check it out. This is already amazing. Like it, it, it comes with it comes with a hammer. It's got let's see, we got the ventilation holes. We got different screws, different keys, all the tools that you could possibly need to actually build this is literally in the kit. That is that's that's amazing because I can't tell you how many times I've gotten enclosures and I haven't had the tools to actually put together some of the pieces and. This honestly is amazing. <laughs> yep, yeah, that is everything that it comes with right there. So we got our different pegs that fit in uh, the corner pieces here. We got a little piece of fiberglass. I like how this is actually this is actually rounded out. So it's, it's nice and smooth to the touch. I'm not really having to worry about like if it catches or snags or if there's any sharp edges that might accidentally like cut up an animal. So that's amazing, I like that. Then we gotta take out the screen here. And I'm just gonna put this on top of this for now. Big old piece of PVC. This is nice. I like this material. It's lightweight, sturdy. Good stuff right there. I'm telling you, it's high quality material. All right, so I've got everything all out and assembled now. Well, not assembled. Gotta assemble it for you guys, but. So we got our PVC boards back here. We got our, I believe this is tempered uh, glass. I'm not exactly positive, specific type of glass. Um, we'll probably put a little, little word thing, thing to jig right there. Um, but anyways, so I got the metal poles that make up the structure. I've got the mallet. I've got the vents. I've got the tools that I need, corner pieces. Everything that you could possibly need to set this up is right here in the kit itself And I think that's the best part about this kit is that Everything is not only high quality But you have the tools, you know, I just realized that this enclosure doesn't come with a screwdriver So make sure that you have like a Phillips head screwdriver for a tiny screw um, And you should be all set so, I have the instructions right here in front of me. So, we're gonna look at the first steps, right? So, the first thing we're gonna need is we're gonna need those long pieces. So, we got these long bar pieces right here. Look exactly like this. This will be the length of the enclosure. And what we're gonna wanna do is we're also gonna wanna grab these little pegs, right? These little pegs and you want to line up the arrows with each other so they got a green arrow and you got a red arrow on this side and this you can kind of might be able to see it it's green so we want to match up the colors with the colors so you got green on green we want to angle it the right way once we get it in right in here and it's lined up so we got green with green we're gonna take our little mallet. All right. And let's see if I can get into frame here. 
And all you gotta do is you just gotta hammer it into place. It's red on red. All right, now we're all set. Now we got our ends on. And we're gonna take another one and we're gonna do the same exact thing that we just did with this, this piece. What you should end up with is you should end up with two sides kind of like this. Then you wanna get that medium size bar and you're gonna put it in between these. And that's gonna be your side. You should end up with something like this little U shape here. And then once you're done with that, you're gonna slide in your piece of PVC. You're gonna seal it off and then add these little short ends once you're done. I just kind of skipped a step because <laughs> I'm excited. Ta-da! So now I got my board in here and I'm going to close it off by putting another thing on top here. So the bottom piece is now done and we can move on to adding the little uh, one foot uh, legs to it and then we can add the rest. So let's get into it. When you guys are doing this, make sure that the pieces with this little slit right here, see if you can kind of pick that up on the camera, there's a little slit right here. So these ones are for the front. The ones that are for the back obviously are labeled back. You can see right here. All right, so now we have the enclosure bottom set up. So we got our panel in, we got our pegs set up, and now all we have to do is we just need to slide in the rest of the PVC pieces and the uh, glass into place exactly where they're supposed to be laid out. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory, but uh, I'll show you guys what it looks like uh, as I'm progressing through. Make sure that you guys remove this plastic coating that's covering the PVC so that you can actually see the PVC itself. So once your enclosure starts looking like this, you know, you got your PVC walls all set up, you slid them into the slots, you got your substrate barrier, you slid that into the slot in the front, you're going to want to put these little uh, air vents in, kind of like a gasket, um, where you have to unscrew it and then you plug it in and then screw it back on the other side. Now that we have the enclosure bottom set up and we have the wall set up, we got our vents installed everything set in place we're gonna take our lid and we're gonna put it on top uh, but I think first I'm going to probably put the doors in I don't know if you need to do it before or after I'm pretty sure it doesn't really matter um, but yep I'm gonna set the doors in they do come with these little uh, handles that you should be able to screw into the uh, glass itself if I'm not mistaken, there should be like some sort of hole or something that you can access. But this will make it easier for you to, to slide the enclosure glass open and close. All right, so now I have finally installed the doors. I put the handles on the doors as well, so it's easy for me to slide them open and close. I think that clip is meant to be like a lock. So right now I'm gonna put this lid right over here, right on top. And it's just gonna slide right in place, gonna bang down on the corner so that it stays locked and secure. All right guys, this is the final look of the enclosure. So you can see it's got some PVC on the outside. It's nice and black. It's got Zelda dog hair all over it already. Freaking, sorry, this dog, this dog. Anyways, <clears throat> so yep, 
So the enclosure's done. Um, you can look inside. I like these these um, these slide handles that they have here. They're made out of metal, and this glass is tempered glass, and it just it looks so nice. It sounds so good too. Just like listen to that. Ah. <laughs> That's like so satisfying to the ears. And there's a lot of space in here. I know you can't really see in there right now, but there's definitely a lot of space. Uh, it's a 60 gallon. It's uh, one foot high, 48 long, and I think like 24 wide. Something like that. Uh, but yeah, this is gonna be the new enclosure for uh, my false water cobra whenever I get the chance to actually afford more substrate. <laughs> so uh, for now, this is just gonna sit here and uh, I'll have to uh, save up some money so I can get some nice substrate because I wanna make it bioactive for him and I wanna make it so it's, it's really nice and has like a little tiny like aquarium in it that I can filter and kind of like get circulated so he has the ability to swim um, if he chooses anyways guys that's gonna be it for the video I hope you guys enjoyed I hope this kind of gives you a good idea as to how you're supposed to set up the enclosure these are really high quality enclosures huge shout out to dubia roaches.com or dubia.com huge shout out to dubia.com uh, check them out on Instagram great stuff great stuff I'm telling you like from now on I'm going to shop exclusively from dubia.com for any of my feeder needs and uh, honestly for any of my enclosure needs because these are the nicest and easiest to set up PVC enclosures I've ever, ever had. And I've had a lot, trust me. <laughs> I've made my own too and they're nowhere as nice as this one is. But anyways guys, I'm going to catch you guys later. Peace. Anyways, guys, that's it. Gonna, that.